So here we are. We're going to build something in App Designer. It's going to be kind of amazing. We're going to have a good time, as we always do. We're going to start with a blank app. Maybe blank app. Incoming, incoming. Come on, girl. There you go. All right, so we've got ourselves a blank app. Um, we're going to play a game where uh, we're going to do uh, basically a can you add and subtract math game. So we've essentially... Um, done stuff like this, or I've done stuff like this in other videos, but I'm going to kind of review it just so that we have a, a fresh start. So essentially, what we're going to do is we are going to set something up where it's going to ask us a question. So like as in a, what's 3 plus 5, like right here. So we're going to drag in a label, what's 3 plus 5, and then we're going to have a place to put in the information. Now notice there's an edit field numeric and an edit field text since we're going to be inserting a math answer, we're just going to do this. Um, you can leave that there. Um, I guess we could just make this our title. And then this could say what's 5 plus 2 or whatever. So actually, let's just double click that and say 5 plus 2 equals. That's not really how we're going to leave it. Also, this is super tiny. So I'm going to select everything here. And I'm going to change the font size to 18, maybe. We're supposed to make this a fun math game, and kids like big font sizes, I guess. So we're going to put this like this. Okay. So 5 plus 2 equals. And I'm going to double click this label. I'm going to call it Super Awesome Math Game. Hey, fellow kids. Um, we're going to play a math game. And then I'm going to push a button, button, button to see check your answer and again I've got to update my font size to whatever it was before as already forgotten there we go look at this super cool game that I made okay so we're just gonna start I'm gonna save this as awesome math game okay now I obviously need this to actually check and see if I got the right answer. So I'm going to go to the callback and add a push button callback for check your answer. So now what I need to do is I need to go over to this thing and I've already forgotten what it's called, but I can click on it and it's called edit field. Let me change its name to answer. Okay, so I can just double click that now and see, I can use my mouse and I can go over here and I can be, what is that called? And it's called answer. And it has a value of zero, I guess. Um, so a value of zero. So I'm gonna say, um, okay. I wonder if I can just get it to say, uh, like, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna separate this out into two things. So my answer equals, App dot answer dot value. We're just going to see. And I'm just going to print that to the screen. And that should show up over here in my, um, what do you call this, command window. So I'm going to run. And in theory, check your answer. My answer is zero. Awesome. Look, I got it to work. Okay. So perfect. Perfect. And if I change this to seven, my answer is seven. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So essentially, what I should be able to do now is be like, if my answer equals seven, then I guess um, I should make something that says good job. <laughs> Maybe I'll just change the button text to, yeah, I could do that. I'm gonna change the button text. So app.check your answer button is there a text, text, tag, text, text, equals good job, kiddo. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Doosh. End. All right. We're just going to see if this works now. This is not a super crazy game yet. Nothing happens. And if I put a seven, good. Oh, I feel so excited. This program loves me. Okay, so we've got some basic functionality. Now, what would obviously make this a lot better is if it asked other questions besides what's five plus two. So 
uh, what we could do is we can create a um, something where whenever it loads the game that it automatically generates a math problem. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to right click awesome math figure and I'm going to create a callback for the startup function. So this is what I want it to do whenever it starts the game. Okay, my super awesome math game. Oh, and I can suppress this now because I know it's working. Okay, so let's say that I'm just going to start some uh, x equals I'm going to randomly generate a number between 1 and 9, and then do it again. And then I'm going to make up some text that says um, string to, no, no, num to string, because it's a num to string x plus, I'm going to make little spaces in there so it's pretty, num to string y um, equals. Okay. And then I want to change this thingy, and it's called something. Super awesome math game label? No. Check your answer. Answer? Oh, yeah, it's called answer. That's called answer. And the answer text, oh, there it is. See, it says 5 plus 2. So answer.text, app.answer.text. Text? You don't want me to say text. Um, what are my options? Parent, create function, tag, text. We're going to try text and then see what happens. Oh, maybe it's the label. Label? No. Let's see. We're just going to say text and see. No, it's going to yell at us because it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, and I have the word text twice, so that's probably not helpful. Okay, let's just see what kind of error message we get when we run this. So I'm going to change this to question text, just so that I have less issues there. And I'm just going to make sure it shows up right, so everything's unsuppressed. Okay, yeah, there's nothing called text. That said, <laughs> it's ready to go. It just hasn't done it well. So I need to go figure out um, what it wants me to call that. So let's go back to the design view. So this whole thing here is clearly called answer. This thing is called label. So maybe that's what it needs to be. I don't know why it was called text on the other thing, but it's definitely called label there. So let's try calling it label maybe, except I should spell label correctly and see if that fixes the problem. No, it doesn't like it. It still doesn't like it. Okay. Okay, so it took quite a bit of bad language, but I was ultimately able to figure it out. So it turns out that this thing is accidentally somehow called label two. So basically I just went here and I just started with label and that's the thing that popped up. So I don't specifically know why this is label two, um, but if I hit this and I go like to T, now I have a text and I can make that my question text. So I'm not 100% sure why this is working, but there's my six plus two equals thingy. Um, I don't know, it's entirely possible. So if I click here, um, see, I don't see the word label two, I just see that it's a label. Um, and I guess down here it has a tag. Maybe I could change the name to um, display problem. And then it would be app, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna help. App, nope, it's still called label. So your guess is as good as mine, what it takes to uh, change that. If anyone figures it out, let me know. But for the moment, I'm just trying to solve problems and that's it. So if I can solve the problem, I'm happy. And it appears now that if I at least go into design view and make this maybe a wee bit bigger, that I'll be able to um, run this. And I don't have a good answer for why it didn't work with the other stuff. But look, now I can do this and I get the answer. And if I put in four, it's still going to count it wrong because it thinks the answer is seven. So let's at least fix that and get it working. Okay. So I can't just be over here. So I'm going to go ahead and suppress all this because I know it's working. Suppress, suppress. I can't just go here and say x plus y because it's going to be like, what's x plus y? I've already forgotten. 
So see, when I check my answer, it's going to get mad at me. Okay, so in order to pass variables from various spots to various spots, um, I need to store them in the properties tab. So actually, instead of specifically doing x plus y, just in case I want to change this to like subtraction or other kinds of problems, I'm going to say my answer is x plus y. But instead of saving it as answer, I'm going to save it as app dot, um, I'm just going to say, yeah, app dot correct answer, like that. Okay, so the correct answer is that. Now, in order to make it permanent, I'm going to try to run this and it's going to yell at me, I think. Yeah, unrecognized property. So it doesn't automatically add it just because you put it in here. You've got to declare it. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a new thing called um, correct answer and see how it highlights it in both places. I think now that's really all I have to do to get it to work. Um, so I'm going to hit run again and check my answer. Okay, oops, I never changed it down here. So now I can do app.correct answer and see it's automatically trying to type it in for me. I can hit tab and go run and six plus seven, nothing happens, 13. Good job. Okay, so I've got this working now. It's not creating a new um, problem, but that's something we can solve for another day. Right now we've just got a, what do you call it? A, um, a come on girl, a math problem generated and I get to exactly solve, well, exactly one math problem each time. Um, from three to seven and it works. So I'm going to call that a win, especially since I figured out this stupid problem and one day I'm going to figure out where that came from, but I'm just trying to solve problems and move on. So it's working and I'm not going to question it.